Gunfire Reborn is a first person rogue light, very similar to Risk of Rain 2, uh, except that it's first person. Uh, that has a, has a has a color palette similar to what we've seen in like Gigantic, even the actual stylings of the characters, similar to what we've seen in Gigantic. Uh, and uh, some people have likened it to a Torchlight, I think, maybe because of the cell shading or some other elements here. Uh, but the game is uh, quite fantastic. Uh, I saw the price point at $11.99 and I was like, uh, you know, for some reason, it's like I'm so used to paying $14.99, $19.99, and all the way up, like, you just think that if it's $11.99, it's got to be like a bargain bin thing, right? No, no, not at all. Uh, it is early access, uh, and it has already uh, enough content to make it uh, quite fun as a repeatable, uh, in terms of uh, replayability, similar to Risk of Rain 2. You can get in and play it, play it again, 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 again. Uh, the only difference I see is in Risk of Rain 2, you have, and I'm going to liken it to that game quite a lot because it, obviously it's in the same vein. Uh, well, you'll see anyways. Um, Risk of Rain 2 has like random bosses and all that, and this game is a bit more structured. You you have a starting theme, and then you go, and you, have, you have a starting boss, the first boss, uh, and it is the same boss uh, every time. And then you go to the desert, and the desert probably has the same boss every time. I've never, I've, I've actually not yet got there yet. Uh, but what I can tell so far, it does seem like it's, it's a pretty structured element. We have to beat the first boss, then the second boss, then the third boss, and you have to develop strategies for them because they actually have phases and all of that. Hopefully, I can show you at least one boss today. If not, I'm actually going to be recording a second video uh, running multiplayer, so you can see what it looks like in multiplayer. So uh, if you want to go through this and then go and see what it's like to play with friends, uh, you can. Do that, so I'll go ahead and link that in uh, in the description, or maybe I'll just release it and just for everybody to see. We'll see. I don't know, uh, but <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a single player version first because I want to explain things along the way as we typically do. So here you can see one, two, three, four, uh, and you can fight uh, up to four people. All the characters are the same until level 30. They only have two characters uh, to choose from, and like I said, the other one you have to reach level 30. I'm level 13, and I've been playing for uh, three hours in the past two weeks. Three hours I've been playing, and so that I figured. You know, uh, probably another three hours, three, four hours or so, I'll be able to get this character unlocked, and he has his own set of abilities and all that stuff. But I haven't actually unlocked even close the full potential of this. Uh, particular character. You can see, uh, well, you'll learn what this stuff is as we get going, but some of this is pretty obvious. Shield enhancement, max shield plus 20, and we know what that is. Smoke grenade radius uh, plus 40%. Uh, shield increases by 5% whenever energy orb hits an enemy, etc., etc. Like, these are very basic things that uh, I don't think I need really, really need to explain. Upper right corner, though, uh, you have your health, your shield, and your uh, movement speed. Movement speed is dependent on the weapon you're carrying. I didn't realize this at first, and I was looking like an idiot running around with a rocket launcher on my back. Like, why is it that my character is running so slow. Uh, over here with the energy orb, uh, energy orb is just a, 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 a recharging ability that you can just fire as free, uh, then it charges back up and you can just do it again. Now you can modify it as we play, so you're going to see we're going to get some unlocks and stuff that's going to make this thing uh, even change some of the basic functionality of it. It does stun the enemies and it does AoE damage, uh, but you can remove the stun if you want to have more damage. This is very this is very similar to how, and this is pretty much in, in line with uh, how uh, your typical roguelite works. It gives you a list of abilities and then it gives you a whole bunch of weird mods and unlocks and stuff like that, things that you could do to make, uh, to basically make the, um, to give the game a little bit more life and, and allow you to try different weird builds and all that stuff. Uh, one, one game I'm playing right now that I'm really getting a whole lot of that is uh, Monster Train. Monster Train, of course, you're just jam-packed with uh, all kinds of randomness. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn down the FOV just a smidge. I was playing this earlier and I had the FOV cranked and I realized it's like in some instances it's it's a little too... Eh, it's not really... Not really uh, it's a little too fisheye. Uh, this is about perfect. This is about perfect. Now, this this beginning chest here, you guys aren't going to be open when you first start playing because uh, it contains the... Uh, or it's actually unlockable by my... Oh, it's actually in this window here. Uh, my talent tree unlocks this, and so we'll look at that after we're done. Whoops, wrong button. I keep doing that. Uh, so what do I have here? I have... Oh, yes, yes, yes. So this thing actually uh, allows you to shoot through it, and it'll charge your rounds, even your regular pistol. You'll charge those rounds as well. So and and it synergizes with anybody else's weapon. They could just walk up to it, just shoot through it. It's fine. Actually, I wonder if it shoot, it'll actually charge this. Eh, hard to tell. All right, let's go through the first stage here. Uh, take a look at the screen here. Upper left corner, obviously mini map. It tells you how much how long you spent on the map here. Uh, on the right upper right hand side, you have two di two different currencies. One is a gold coin. One is a I don't know what it's called. It's kind of token of some sort. You do have headshots here. The uh, the aiming is very forgiving. 
uh, or the heads are very, very big. One of the two. They are kind of big, actually. Uh, so you see, I got a, a, a um, what do you want to call that? Like a little, like, turquoise hearthstone kind of icon upper right corner. So I got one for killing, I believe, the yellow guy. I got the yellow health. I believe. Uh, well, actually, that guy did not. He dropped one. Maybe it was just random drops. Uh, but that currency is the, what you would put towards your uh, you put towards your upgrades and such. So your, your talent upgrades and all that at the end of a match. But you can also spend it to revive yourself if you want to keep going. Now that's that's going to be a pickle that you're going to find yourself in, where you're going to decide, okay, do I want to go ahead and uh, maybe? Okay, hold on a second. Dang it. It's crazy. Uh, do, do you want to spend some and then hope that you can make up, make it up? Uh, how much you spend on, on resin, which is like 10 or so? Maybe, then take the risk and go ahead and res yourself. Let's see, we got another weapon here. Now let's stop using this basic weapon here and we'll start using some of the more interesting things here. You'd have a grenade, by the way. Uh, it, it functions like a grenade. You throw it out, it does, uh, does that, but also it's a smoke grenade for you. Uh, so you can actually modify it so that whenever I stand inside of my own funk, then it's going to give me a damage reduction. Or if an enemy walks through it, then he he gets a uh, defense reduction. And so you can do more damage to him. And he also does less damage, which is pretty awesome. So just tons of modifications. I, I love that about these kinds of games. Any kind of rogue anything where it's like, okay, so you start off and you could shoot and you could throw and that's it. And then by the time you finish, it's like, yeah, so every time you fire, like, I don't know, dolphins fly down from the heavens and they start shooting laser beams out of their freaking foreheads. Like, I don't know. Like, that's what happens as you progress rest of these games it is ridiculous let me see uh so here we go like i was saying smoke grenades damage 300 percent uh, elemental effect chance minus 50 percent uh after killing an enemy affected by elemental effect uh 40 percent rate of fire for six percent some weapons do have an elemental effect i'll back out here in a second to see if i have uh any any weapons that have that right now uh, energy orb have one more charges actually i'm not gonna back out i'm just gonna take this because it's kind of fun to have two of these things and then later you could change it to do whatever you want which is pretty awesome let's take a look at these weapons though uh now first off this game is translated so there are a lot of uh, there's there's a, there's a lot of uh, grammatical errors that you're going to find throughout so it makes it makes reading some of the uh you know some of the tooltips and everything not really like gel like pretty well with like a native english english speaker but the ge the typical the general point uh is made let me see uh, basically, so this is what you start off with, and this thing is unlimited ammo, uh, and so you can just basically use it like nonstop. It does great for headshots and all that. You guys, you've already seen me do because I'm just so good. Uh, you have ammo, special, large, and normal ammo, so you do have to pick up ammo. Can you hear that bang? That's Sunday. She wants my attention. Sunday, stop it. I'm gonna spray with this. <laughs> she didn't even move. <laughs> <laughs> She's too old for this stuff. Uh, let's see. So the weapon uh, here, weapon weapon one, weapon two. Uh, this is the max you could carry is three, but you can never, never drop the initial one here. Uh, so this one says weapon skill launch launch a lightning bolt. Okay, cool. So let's keep that in mind. Lightning bolt, great. Also has a couple of perks here, a couple of random rolls. Weapon auto reloaded when unequipped. Uh, let's see. That's kind of interesting. Let me see. Damage by 85 rounds. Magazine 35. I don't really think that that's really, that's not a particularly good. Uh, if it was like a rocket launcher or something that had a, like a super slow reload time, maybe we'll see. Uh, let me see, Mag magazine capacity 6%, pretty awesome, 100% effective range, and 100% stability. That's what I'm currently using. Let's use this a bit and see what this feels like. I didn't actually look to see if it was, uh, uh, if there's elements in either of them. Bottom right corner, you can actually see if I toggle through. So that one is an element. Okay, cool. So just keep that in mind if I decide to keep that thing. But I did just say it's not that great. And let's go and use the good stuff. There we go. This thing reminds me, oh god, what was it called? The damn dubstep crossbow in, uh, in Dead Space. Somebody actually corrected me today and told me what it was, and I already forgot what it was. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh. There's no melee in the game. It's really weird. Sometimes you get super close to an enemy, and you just think, if only I could just butt stroke, and then nothing happens. Uh, let me see. The Shrieker. This one has no elemental damage, and a charge up shot. It calls a small. This is actually kind of cool. It's very similar to my existing little, like, energy pulse that I have, my E. Uh, so you've already seen this thing. Let's go ahead and swap out to this. That was the wrong button. See, I keep doing that. All right, so you charge it up for a second. You see on the right-hand side, it shows uh, that it's ready to go. We could just continue it. Some enemies going to be right here. Launch that. Look at that splash damage. Now, there are some pretty ridiculous weapons in this game. Uh, you've already seen at the beginning, as I was kind of flipping through the, uh, the intro screen there, you could already see that there's a ton of already existing weapons that I've unlocked and a ton that I've not. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's, I'd imagine after about probably six hours of play, maybe ten hours of play or so, you're gonna, you're gonna have just such a crazy, insane assortment of weapons and mods and all that crap. Alright, let's see, lightning blast, I'm gonna try this again, nope, nope, nope. 
Very cool. Let's go launch that. Let's go ahead and check for a second. Drop a grenade on him. Drop another one. There's a lot of enemies in this one. A big boy over here. Gotta be careful. It's the bottom left corner, you can see that I have my uh, my health and my shield. Shield regen. You can also raise those in the talent tree. I think I have a couple points in each one. There we go. I always, I don't, can't tell you how many times I've shot the shopkeep here, and I'm just thank God it's not spelunky rules. Seriously, so many times I've just been wiped. Yeah, the jars drop everything, all kinds of stuff. By the way, da -da -da, like buns, and buns gives you health. I don't need it right now. All right, let's go open this first. And let's see, uh, another one of these upgrade things. 50, minus 50% 50 damage dealt and plus 20% damage taken to enemies for 6 seconds when they hurt by smoke grenades. Okay, cool. So this is basically just a debuff for them. Uh, let's see, after killing an enemy affected by elemental effect, plus 40. Okay, yes, we know that part. And 40% rate of fire for 6 seconds. What weapon do I have that does that? I have the lightning thing, but I want to get rid of it. After casting energy arm, shield recharge speed 30% for 6 seconds. Let's go ahead and go with this. Now, oh... Fast loader, fill the magazine instantly after swapping weapons. Dude. Alright, so first off, yes. And also, yes. Oh, I'm torn. Uh, I really like the piercing flame. It's a, it's a sniper rifle. I really, really like it. Uh, oh, you, but you know what, though? I think that this is probably something I should pick up for the for the end. Uh, because the end is going to get pretty hairy. Yeah, let's go with this. That's kind, of, that's kind of a must. Now, what does it do with my existing weapon? Just drop it on the ground? Sure it does. What do I have there? I have the lightning blast. No, let's go ahead and keep the lightning blast for a second. And we'll swap it out for the shrieker here. Because you guys have already seen how this works. Plus, I think I want something similar to a... Uh, it's like Unreal Tournament... Uh, uh, what is it called? The Link Gun. In UT. Okay. Well, actually, the shock rifle has two two modes. So that's a more apt comparison. I forgot about these guys. Certain enemies will die and they will uh, turn to that. Turn to these little bugs. Very fitting to the uh, theme. A tomb with a bunch of risen guards. Want to get close to melee, but you can't do it. Okay, God. Now the mini gun. Needs no introduction. It does exactly what you'd expect. Oh, there's a dash, by the way. Is exactly what you would expect. Has a wind up time. And then you just let go. Now there are some. I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet, but there there are they are random. Ah, there it is right there. Oh, 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 forgot about these guys. They look like they're they're carrying companion cubes, which is like really, really wrong. I mean, come on, like that's that's like a Geneva Convention thing. Come on. I just wanna hug it. Alright, let's go ahead and break this thing open and go in here and check this out. So let's see, is this the challenge thingy? Nope, foundry. Oh, that's the weapon. Big hippo. Oh my god, one of these. Alright, so we've got a little puzzle here. It's like exploring some catacombs. I thought the whole game was going to be like this. Just kind of running through a maze. Uh, procedurally generated. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, gee, come, gee, give me a break, dude. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, uh. Give it a second here. Give my thing back. Oh, oh. <sighs> Halo flash, Halo online flashbacks. Cool. Uh, whoa, what, what? For reals? Oh, I didn't know I could do this. Okay, oh wait. Frogger. Sorry, crossy, crossy, whatever. Oh, Jesus. This is bad. Shield's going down. I don't think that thing works on it. No, it does not. Okay, cool. I'm glad I did that because some of the comments would have been, some of the comments would have been like, oh, look at this. This is the thing that, wait, is this? Let's take a look. Uh, for every five shots, the next shot deals 50% damage. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's going to make this thing awesome. It's like tracers. God, I really took a beating in there, though. Let's go get this thing out. Let's go start pelting some of these things, see if we can find some health. Am I going the wrong way? Show is. Let me see. By the way, I played this on the controller on stream, and it was flawless. Uh, like, seriously, it was flawless. I am not somebody who typically plays uh, controller F FPS games at all, except for Outer Worlds, the only one I think I've really played recently. And I was truly impressed with just how how fluid it felt. 
there's just basically it's just the right amount of of auto aim is what i'm trying to say let's see a fair deal give one occult scroll and get 171 coin it wants me to give away my occult scroll and i don't want to do that but this is a good opportunity to show you guys what that is that's what we were just looking at right here so if i could give this thing away and it's gonna give me 170 gold which i could use that to buy stuff at for example this guy right over here oh one second let's get fancy okay no it's gonna leave all nice and green goo behind sweet let's try not to offend those guys down that hallway uh now this guy will enhance your weapons but he only does two upgrades so i can afford to do both of these exactly so i think i will um and i'll do just one of each lightning blast one and then this guy the other so raise that damage up tink 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 nice one uh, ten and that's all I could really afford. Now I could go turn the scroll away, but I kind of like that trace around effect of having multiple, uh, or having every fifth round be a extra damage. P.S. This is gonna come in really handy having the synergy between this weapon here going like this, and then pulling this guy out, and then doing this nonsense when we get to the boss. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, come on. It's unfortunate it doesn't act like a shield. I wonder if that's a I wonder if it's a mod you get later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, these guys. Dang it. See? Ah, I miss them every time. They're just they're just so small and so hard to see. Come on, get out of here. We get this. There we go. Get a grenade from that. She uses more often. I'm not bad at exhausting my cooldowns unless. Unless I have something that uh, that that's, that uses a uh, when you have no grenades, you do 50% more damage type thing, and then I'm chucking grenades all day. Let's see, six, minus 60% damage dealt. Uh, so this is just another increase. It's essentially just a debuff using my grenade. Um, energy orb freeze in it for two more seconds. Ooh, wow, wow. Hmm. Is it my? One second. Is it my? No. Okay. Lightning and nothing. Else. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and get this. Let's go ahead and keep going with this. Hex smoke too. Get it most stronger. Get that thing. Nope. Okay. Ah. All right. What's this one? Uh, challenge event. All enemies transform into horned beetle after being defeated. Okay. We got to read that. Oh dang! Already. That was a uh, sniper or something. Yeah, I'm getting getting nailed here. Since, oh my gosh. So there's the revival there. I gotta use some of those things, and I will. Oh crap. Try and get around this thing. Now I'm kind of stressing out a little bit. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get, let me get some of this back. Good. Oh, thank god. There it is. There it is. Challenge successful. God, just barely though. Man, what'd I get? Gotta be something good. Let's see. Brief respite. Gain immunity to all damage for one second after swapping weapons. Hold on. Cooldown is two seconds? Oh no. Come on. Don't, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Oh god. See us go. Ah, just rolling that mouse wheel all the way down. Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird one, but dude, I can see it working though. Absolutely, especially like in, in a boss fight where he dunks you constantly. Uh, that's definitely something you want to use there. Oh, whoa! No, I didn't get a look. kind of face. Where am I at here? 20, 20 and two of seven. So I think I've already made back what I lost. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's get this guy back over here. Good. This guy is a terror. Seriously. He can do so much damage if you don't keep him in check. Just walks off to the side. Whoa! 
gives you a good snipe. And it's the slowest moving snipe too, so you feel dumb that it hits you. Let's see, I uh, crit, percent, 40%, magazine capacity, the magazine is more than 50% full. Unfortunately though, it's normal. Uh, it says fire a lightning ray, but it doesn't stand to me it's a lightning, right? Let me see. Yeah, I think that was a lie. But you know what? Uh, this is a very awesome weapon that I would love to show you one day. Uh, let me walk into this room here and see if I can't get a couple of kills here. So first you mark the weapon, mark the enemy, and then you just basically point this guy somewhere. And it'll automatically lock on to whoever. But the point of locking it to somebody's uh, to, to somebody is to take advantage of the hit. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take advantage of the headshot mechanic. <laughs> this is hard. Got him. Then you can just stack headshots constantly. He's done. Isn't that great? It's a really, really awesome weapon. It's so good. It doesn't do as much damage, but you can always upgrade that later on. Now let's get these guys back. Go ahead and hit him too. Boop. Headshot him. Headshot him to death. <laughs> so fast too. Whoops. Now if you miss, of course, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, here we go. Let me actually demonstrate something else too with this. So headshot that guy, and then put the other guy in the in the lane there, and you can do double damage to both of them there. There we go. Now I need to get uh, out of here with this it's nonsense. <laughs> I need to go back and get my good stuff. Actually, I mean, this is nothing wrong with uh, this combo, but that synergy is what I want. Let me buy myself fighting this boss. I have not. I don't think I beat him. Oh, I can't go back. Oh no way. No, I think I'll unlock that guy later. Very handy. Oh jeez. Let's go and lock this guy down before he attacks. Like he was just gonna do. He just broke it. Got him. Nope. I really want this tag, you can tell, right? I guess we'll just try to beat this down. Nope, can't do it. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Good, 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 good. Shoot it right over that shield. Perfect. Let's put him in this thing. Like I said, I'm bad at using my, my, my cooldowns. <laughs> Unless I have to get rid of them. Totally different story, then. Really close. Ooh. So, there we go. Done. Done, done, done. He was so low, should have done that first time. Look at this guy. Minigun to the face! Let's see what we got, then we'll see if we can go back and get that lightning thing. What do you want to give me? A golden goblet. Goblet overflowing with mysterious energy. Pick up to enhance power. Okay, now hold on a sec. Before I pick this up to enhance, an enhance anything, I'm going to go look around the room. We have this. Now that's going to stay there for a bit. We have something laying on the ground over here. What is this? Uh, fifty percent lucky shot chance after two seconds using a dash. Okay. The bottom left corner is that what that is? One of, usually, there's like a debuff or some kind of uh, indicator. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. But isn't that weapon cool? <laughs> isn't that thing awesome? It really is. Let me see. Where's the uh, uh, Parker up there? Oh, look, well, kind of. I call it that. Oh my gosh. Failed. Failed. Ah, F. Okay, a little bit of ammo. Don't need. Bone Dragon. Oh, okay. Charge up a gravity projectile that draws in the surrounding enemies and deals damage when projectile explodes. Oh, man. The Bone Dragon. Ah, man, I'd love to, but. But, 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 but. You got to just buy the game and see that yourself. Or if we record that multiplayer thing that I told you about earlier. You might be able to see it there because the odds are higher because it's going to be more of us playing. Okay, that's going to be a minute. Ah! No. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh, baby. Then I'm just going to walk right out. Just like that. Like we own this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'd just be so embarrassed if I like, died right there. Uh, lightning enthusiast. Whenever inflict oh shock effect to enemies, also inflict shock effect to yourself. Ah, uh, when you are in shock effect, 75% lightning damage. This is gonna like ruin a lot of setup here, but I would love to see this in action. I've had this happen before, where it'll also uh, while you're in shock effect, while you are in uh, in this self-induced pain, <laughs> um, you will actually heal. That's the one that I had before, and that was really awesome. So what does this do then? Uh, okay, I was I wasn't sure if it's gonna upgrade a weapon. Let me see elemental shields, uh, lightning, so more lightning damage, basically. I think that that's uh, wait minus or plus thirty percent damage against enemy in elemental effect. 
I I think that this one would make the more sense. The most sense. Level three there is 120% lightning damage, 50% lucky shot chance against enemies inflicted by shock. Cool. Electro dominance. Boy, hold on a sec. What is that? Okay, nothing. I need. I need green. I need green. 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 All right, final stage. Here it is. Visit the craftsman here. Uh, let's see. I can almost afford to upgrade both of them. But I'm going to talk to this guy first. See if he's got any any last pieces of advice. Against the flow, recover 10% ammo to the magazine every second for 4 seconds after hitting an enemy. Lose 1 ammo every second when not dealing damage uh, on an enemy for 4 seconds. Oh, man. I'm not going to take that at all. <laughs> That's not happening. How's my health, by the way? Uh, I'm going to try to do without. I'm going to try to do without. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of enemies in there, so we hopefully we'll have plenty of opportunity to go ahead and uh, take this and this. But yeah, hopefully we have enough. Oh, actually, if, if we do have a little bit of spare, then maybe I will go ahead and do this. But I'm certain that we're, I'm certain that we're gonna get plenty of uh, ammo and whatnot out there. So here we go, the boss, first level boss. Da -da 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 -da. Word. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is lay this thing down here. Now he's only gonna target me because there's nobody else in here, so there's no way having a buddy pull aggro. Dang it. No, he is inflicted by, he can't be inflicted by that. Oh my gosh. Just already. Just already. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> that is totally it. I I can't I can't res anymore. Uh that's it though. Man. Hey, you know what? That's what you get. Because that's what happens in this game, okay? So sometimes maybe we're not gonna be able to finish. How funny is that? Well, at least we get back to this part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, skill enhancements. Uh, so, the tree is pretty basic. It's just, you know, for the most part, survival and battle is just general stuff. Uh, you have your, your ammo, and then you have... Uh, this is the arm support. This allows me to get that chest at the beginning, by the way. Um, what the heck? How are you doing? Sunday? Oh, my gosh. Jeez. She is so pesty lately. I can't do anything. Pesky cat. Um, so demanding. She just knocked over a chair. Literally just knocked over a chair. All right, so over here we have, God, I'm so sorry. Um, let's see, uh, Gemini Inscription, uh, Inscription Collector, like all of these are just like small incremental upgrades. This is very similar to like Rogue Legacy and tons of other games that we played. Uh, and this is part of the the ongoing, uh, increasing uh, you know, power battle that you go through. You start off, you get your ass kicked in the first room, and then you come back, you put some points in, etc., etc. right? The loop, the, the, it's a feedback loop, and eventually you get super strong. I do have to spend some of these things. Uh, I see increased skill damage, uh, increased health enhancement. Oh, clearly we need some more of that. Jeez. Uh, unrefined, yeah, that's right, you can't spend it. So again, like Rogue Legacy, you don't get to spend it. Uh, or you don't get to keep it and let it stock up. And tons of other games now. Like, I just use Rogue Legacy because that's one that I know that you guys have seen me play a lot if you've been around for a while. Um, but, yeah, dude, that's pretty much it. Now, let's go back and take a look at the main screen again because I was kind of clicking around there before. Uh, you can, if you have more than one account, you go to Switch Archive and you could uh, you can actually swap to another account if you want to start over. So this is just my account. It's AK Mike B14, level 14. Uh, my hero, like I showed you, this is now now you have a better understanding of what these things mean uh, when you when you think about energy orb cooldown two cent uh, you know two seconds. Like that's awesome. Um, and then you know this character over here now he has the ability to he has like a use ability or something that will over here dual wield wield both your guns at the same time and pump your enemies full of bullets last 20 seconds. 20 seconds with a cooldown of 40 seconds. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this guy performs, seriously. Uh, trigger grenade, toss highly, uh, toss unstable, highly explosive grenade, which will explode upon hitting enemies and deal 550 damage to all surrounding enemies. It's, yeah, it's a grenade, it's awesome. Um, yeah, man, <laughs> dual wield. Give me a break, Titan's grip for uh, shooters. Uh, let's see, so armory, yeah, that's right. Let's go back through here and take a look. You can see this is the all weapon screen. There are 34 weapons currently in the game and then there's tons and tons and tons of different roles you can get for each one. Uh, you have three new models available here. You can see the damage and everything that uh, that is available to it. Uh, and the, the host of different, um, I don't know if they have them listed anywhere in terms of like all the different, the list of different mods and different uh, uh, roles that you could get on an item. Uh, I don't think they have it listed in anything like any kind of 
Let's see, probably a logbook maybe or player information? I don't think so. Logbook is going to show how many times I've... Oh, maybe a cult scroll. Uh, this is not actually what I was looking for, but this is also very cool because uh, look at this. It actually shows you, shows you things that you've not gotten. So again, like there's there's multiple layers. Like this is not this is not a um, a single faceted uh, 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 roguelite. Like this is a multifaceted roguelite. Uh, locked only. Oh, this is the things that I've not gotten. Oh, interesting. Shows you what I got to do. Kill lightning swords in 50 times with non-explosive damage and that'll unlock the the uh, the capability in order to roll one of those in a random uh, bin or something. So that's it. I mean, the game is uh, you know very very cool for 11.99. You know, oh, there's three models here. Awesome, awesome. Uh, sorry, I couldn't complete the first boss for you, but at least you get to see that it doesn't. It's uh, it's not messing around. <laughs> it's not messing around. Jeez, jeez. But hey. Uh, I am gonna go and hit up the guys and see if we can't record something, a, a secondary piece for this, uh, and I will uh, follow that up uh, very shortly after releasing this uh, this look at at the game. But again, you can pick it up right now on uh, on <laughs> Steam for 11.99, and it just seems like a steal. It really does when you're used to 14.99 and up for most uh, indie games. Uh, so check it out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. This game is Gunfire Reborn. I will see you guys later.